Hey gamers, how you doing? It's your girl Grace aka Face Quizzit here and today I'm coming at you with this red carpet ready look, okay? This makeup is for the red carpet, okay? I've tried to do something that, you know, um, is more appealing to celebrities on the red carpet, okay? Celebrities, um, nine out of ten times will not wear color. They, you know, like to keep it, you know, they, they want to look like they woke up like this. Like they haven't, you know, put on a lot of makeup, you know, they just rolled out of bed and just put on a, you know, uh, um, uh, what you call it? Uh, what you call it? What you call it? What you call it? Anyway, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a tinted moisturizer. I mean, the tinted moisturizer kind of foundation. I can't remember what it's called now. It's escaped me. But if I remember before the end of this video, I will. Link, I will. I will say what it is. But anyway, they want to look like they they woke up like this and that they de they didn't have to put too much effort into their makeup. When the truth of the matter is that a lot of work went on went into this makeup okay and you will see from the video um it's not a difficult look to create but blending is key divas when you're trying to pull this kind of look together your choice of colors is very important when you're trying to pull this look together because everything has to um come together seamlessly if you know what i mean um uh, at the end of the day you have to look like you know you haven't put a lot of effort into it, but everything just seems to be pulled together nicely. Um, and that's that's what celebrities tend to go for on the red carpet. And that's what I've tried to recreate. And I have to say these lashes, oh my God, <laughs> they weigh a ton. <laughs> I feel like I've got a bird, you know, on each of my, on my, on each of my eyelids. It's just there, I can't wait to rip it off you, but sorry. <laughs> These are, I mean, I'm used to make lashes, but this particular one is heavy divas. I'll put the details in the description. It looks nice. It looks really, really nice on, um, but I just find it a bit heavy and it's kind of irritating me a little bit. Oops. <laughs> Maybe it's just my eyes. You know, my eyes are very sensitive. But anyway, back to, you know, this makeup. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to, I'm, I've, I'm trying to create a look that is red carpet worthy, um, especially for those of you who um, will be doing makeup for celebrities or that are already doing makeup for celebrities. Celebrities tend not to like too much color. Like I was saying earlier, they want to look like, you know, they just woke up like this and they, you know, just put on a bit of a blush and a bit of lip gloss or whatever. And you know, they're just fabulous like that. But when the truth of the matter is that a lot of effort went into it, honey, nobody wakes up looking this fabulous. I'll just tell you that for free. I mean, come on, there's a handful of people, but you know, there <laughs> are not many of them out there. I certainly don't wake up like this. Come on now. You know, a lot of effort goes into it. So yeah, but yeah, like I was saying, um, on the red carpet, you won't see a lot of um, celebrities wearing colour. They tend to wear neutrals because they don't want to look like they try too hard, okay? Um, so the aim of this look is to pull a look together that is red carpet worthy, um, that looks like it's you know took five minutes when in fact a lot of effort went into it um and it looks flawless it looks well pulled together um and we haven't used any color on the lips or on on the eye well we've used the um, i i used the um, like a green eyeliner just to inject a bit of color in my um waterline um and and that's it well, unless you want to count my blusher as colour, um, but that's it really. But anywho, divas, you catch my drift. You know what I'm talking about. If you want to learn how I created this look, then let's Okay, divas, so the first thing I'm doing today is priming my eyes, and I'm doing that using Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC, and I'm applying this with this um, synthetic Sigma um, brush, which is a concealer brush. I'll put the details below. And to set that, I'm going into um, creme brulee, no, smooth, smooth peach, uh, peach smoothie, <laughs> sorry, divas, peach smoothie by um, Makeup Geek. And I'm applying this all over my eyelids to set the soft ochre um, paint pot. And this is going to allow for a smooth transition of color. Right, so now I'm going in with creme brulee, which is also by Makeup Geek. And this is going to act as my first transition color. And I'm putting this into my crease. And this is followed by Frappe, which is also by Makeup Geek. And this is going to act as my second transition color divas. And I'm applying these colors using a um, blended brush. I'm applying the Frappe uh, in the crease, but not as high as the Creme Brulee. 
Now I'm going in with mocha and I'm also applying this into the crease as a transition color, but this is not going to go as high as the creme brulee or smidge, uh, um, as the frappe or the creme brulee. But I'm intensifying this color on the outer V a bit more than I am um, going into the, um, towards the eye in the crease. Don't know if that makes sense. Now I'm going in with Americano, which is also by Makeup Geek. I love Makeup Geek eyeshadows for my crease because they're so buttery and this transition is usually very, very smooth. So now with a smaller um, crease brush, um, details will be put in the description box below. I am applying Americano in, um, into the crease, but depositing most of the color into the outer V area just to kind of form um, a half smoky eye. I felt like I'd applied too much, so I went in with Coco Bear to kind of neutralize um, the Americano a little bit. So I'm just fading the top of um, the Americano a little bit just to sort of tone down the darkness. I didn't want it to be that dark. I'm just fading it out, basically. Now I'm going in with um, Corrupt, which is also black eyeshadow by uh, Makeup Geek. And I'm putting this only in the outer V of the eyes, um, just to further intensify the outer V. Um, but I'm not putting this in the entire crease, just the outer V divas. And I'm applying this using a, pen a fat pencil brush. But the details of all products and brushes used will be in the description box below so check it so now I'm going in with copper beam pigment by Mac and this is going to be the first color I apply on my lid and this is going to be closer to the outer V than it would be to the inner corner so I'm taking it on the lid and outwards um, as opposed to towards the inner corner of my eye and I'm just packing this on using a flat shader brush divas now I'm going in with melon pigment. I think it's melon, but um, I'll I'll put the details in the description box. And that's going to be on the remainder of the lid. So towards the inner corner of the eye is where I'm applying the melon pigment by MAC. These are my old pigments which I've abandoned. I'm revisiting them. And I have to say, as far as I'm concerned, MAC does the best pre the, the best pigments. So yeah, I'm just applying this into the inner, not the inner corner of the eye, but the inner part of the lid. And I'm just packing that on. Okay, and it's, it would mesh in the middle with the um, copper beam. So I just pulled the middle together using that flat brush and just pulling the two colors together so that you can't see any harsh lines. You can't tell where copper beam stops and the melon pigment starts. The two colors have been merged together and they've, you know, sort of meshed seamlessly, okay? So now I'm taking um, oh, Nylon by MAC. I almost forgot that. And I'm putting that into my, um, into the, into my water, uh, sorry, the inner corners of my eyes. Um, I tried to do some fancy stuff there, but anyway, it didn't come out too right. But yeah, um, now I'm going in with this 24-7 um, Glide Pencil called Deep End by um, Urban Decay and I've applied that into my waterline. So now I'm going in with Corrupt again and I'm going to apply that with an eyeliner pencil and I'm applying it just underneath um, my lid, my bottom lid. So not over the green, but just underneath it, you know, just to kind of define it a bit. And now I'm applying some mascara, you know, in preparation for my lashes. You don't have to apply so much of the um, nylon, um, which is the highlight color in my, in the inner corner of my eyes. You can reduce it. I went overboard with it, um, which I realized after the fact, but um, yeah, you can, you can reduce that a bit, not as much as I've applied. Anyway, now I'm lining my lips with Cork Lip Liner by MAC Cosmetics. This is my favorite brown lip liner. Um, and I'm just using this to, 
you know, define my lips by following the natural shape of my lip line. And now I'm taking Naked 2 Lipstick by Urban Decay Cosmetics and I'm going to apply this all over my lips. I will remember to check the description box for details of all products you use, Divas. I love this lipstick. It's so creamy and at the same time very pigmented. So I'm just applying this all over my lips, Divas. It's a gorgeous nude color. This one is Naked 2. Don't go and buy Naked 1 and say it's different. This is Naked 2. Okay, Divas? And I'm going back in with cork lip liner to further define the lips, um, you know, just to add some definition um, so that it's not too, the lip color is not too close to my foundation color. Okay, so I'm just defining it and smacking my lips together. And voila, divas, there you have it. That is the final look. Final, final. I really, really love this look. Oh yeah, and I'll put details of my lashes. I did all that off camera. Lashes um, and all that I applied off camera. So check the description box for details, divas. So here you have it, my divas. This is the final look. I hope you like it. I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial as much as I've enjoyed creating it. If you have enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Also, if you have any comments, go ahead and leave it in the comments box below and I'll endeavor to get back to you as soon as possible if need be. And if not, thanks anyway for watching this video and for your lovely comments. Also, divas, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Very, very important. Remember, the goal this year is 20K and I am relying on you divas to help me achieve this, okay? So yeah, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to share this um, video. Go ahead and share it on all your social media networks. I'd really, really, really appreciate that. Google+, Facebook, Twitter. If possible, Instagram could be little clips, you know, whatever. Um, LinkedIn, go ahead and share it. I'd really, really, really appreciate that. And don't forget to follow your girl divas. I'm on Instagram, Face Squizzit, Twitter, Face Squizzit, Facebook, Grace Face Squizzit, Makeup Artist. I'm on LinkedIn, Grace Ibukonua. Um, yeah, and that's it. Just Google Face Squizzit. Everything about me comes up, so you'll see all my um, social media platforms. Okay, divas? Well, thank you so, so much. Remember, I love you, and I really, really, really appreciate you. You already know that anyway. Thank you so, so, so much for visiting my channel once again and watching this video. I can't wait to see you next time, you know, divas, because I feel like I know you now. You know, I think I need to give a few of you a shout out. The Chandra Bell. Um, okay, I'm going to do one person a week. This week, I'm shouting out the Chandra Bell. Thanks, Diva. You have been supporting me from the get-go. And I really, really, really appreciate you. Even though we've never met, I feel like I really know you. So this shout out is for you, Diva. Thank you so much for your continuous support. I love you loads. And yeah. I'll see you next time. So Divas, yeah, it's Lashandra this week. Who knows who it might be next week, okay? All right, my lovelies. Until next time, remember that Jesus loves you and I love you too. Stay absolutely fabulous. Love you loves. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.